Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to talk to you um, about some of the challenges that come with waking up on a Saturday morning and cleaning while your kids are up. As you can see, my son is not giving me any space. He's like attached to my hip. So some of the challenges that I run into while my children are up and trying to clean is them wanting to help me or my son wanting to be held, him being in the way, and it just becomes very like overwhelming when you're trying to get something done. I know, I don't know if I'm the only one, I don't think I'm the only one that, that goes through this. Please comment below if your children do the same thing and some things that you do to kind of get them out of the way. Um, I try to turn on a nice TV show that they may like to watch, or I like for my daughter, I have her help me with the trash, um, taking taking some of the bathroom trash downstairs. Um, and then for my son, I try to put a moving on for him to watch while I'm cleaning. Um, another thing for my daughter and my son, I have them sort the dirty clothes because once they're sorted out, once they help me sort the clothes out, then they can help me put the clothes in the washer machine and whatever is in the dryer. If there's something in the dryer, help me put the clothes in the dryer or take the clothes out of the dryer and put them on the bed so I can fold them. I like to keep things organized. I feel like everything has every there's a place for everything and everything has a place so it's easier for me to get back to it and I try to um, let my kids know where things are so that way they're easily accessible to them but sometimes cleaning or getting up to start cleaning while my kids are up is a challenge for me mentally because I'm already it becomes draining you know cleaning is it, it can be tiring can get exhausting um, and then wh while you're cleaning, you're constantly redirecting your kids and taking your kids somewhere else to do something else while you're getting this done and trying to organize it. I don't always organize my pantry, but occasionally or every, every so often, about once a month, I'll go through my pantry to see what's in there, um, to sort through the things that's in there and figure out what I need and what I don't need. And if there's things in there that I don't need, I will throw them away. And it lets me know that it, it, if there's things in there that I don't need, I'll throw them away. And it lets me know if I need to go to the store and get some more things. But like I said, it's always a challenge. Um, because I'm put I'm putting up things and sorting out things, but my children are constantly pulling out things, <laughs> pulling out things and just getting in the way. Oh my gosh, they're always in the way, but in their minds, they're being helpful. So we have to allow them to help us at times. Um, uh, my son likes to sweep. Uh, I just noticed that he likes to sweep. So while I'm doing this, I told him he can sweep some of the trash on the floor. And then I always go back and go back and sweep after him or I'll go back and see what my daughter's doing. So while cleaning, cleaning is a challenge because I'm also not only in my cleaning, but I'm also I also have to continue to stop and go see what they're doing or continue to stop and um, make sure that they have a task or stop to make sure that they're not getting into things that they shouldn't be getting into. So cleaning as a mother can be, you you have to be mentally prepared. You, you have to be mentally prepared. If you're not waking up at the crack of dawn, you need to be mentally prepared to, con to stop, mentally prepared to pick them up and take them in another room, uh, find a good movie for them to watch, or make sure that they're occupied and doing something productive to where they're not getting into things. Just it's, it's, an, it's a task. And I am tired and I have to kind of prepare myself for whatever it is to come while I'm cleaning up. And sometimes we kind of just get together and I have to take a, a debriefer and I kind of have like a little dance break with them. But yeah, and then while I'm using these chemicals, I try my best to keep them out of the bathroom, but it's just challenging. So I sometimes I got to work with what I have. Just work with what you got and do what you can do because 
it it has to get done. It has to get done. And as a single mother, I try my best to keep the house clean, as clean as I possibly can, because I feel like when things are organized and things are clean, you feel better. You have a better day. You're more uplifted, you're more upbeat. It feels fresh to me. So I can, I can only imagine how my kids feel in filth and, and they would rather be in a clean house. So I try my best to keep the house as clean as I possibly can, even though they continue to constantly pull out toys and pull out clothes and just make the house a mess. Put their hands on the mirror, on the mirrors in the house. So keep some Windex in the house because we have to keep, we constantly have to clean the windows because my son loves to look in the mirror and my daughter loves to look in the mirror but they're also constantly putting their hands in the mirror so keeping some windex and some um paper towels at hand always helps us get through those blotches in the mirror so i'll just let you all watch and see how i clean and maneuver through the house while my kids are constantly coming in and you'll see that the clips are switching because I am constantly stopping. So <laughs> constantly stopping to go check on them or seeing what they, they need, their needs are, giving them a snack. And, but I'll let you watch the rest of the video.